Hi everyone, this is Dr. Emily Park. And today I have a very special interview for you. I am going to be introducing Gabrielle Wodarski. She is a PA that joined us about a year ago at Arizona Wellness <laughs> Medicine. Welcome. Awesome. So I'm going to start with introducing um, her with her bio and background. So she is a board certified physician's assistant. She has a bachelor's degree in clin clinical laboratory science from Monmouth University and a master's from A.T. Still University. Um, she actually started her career back in family medicine and also worked in a urogynecology practice. And she also did some work in Germany with the army as well. We might get into that story a little bit later too. Um, she was born in Philadelphia, grew up in New Jersey, and is absolutely thrilled to be back here in Arizona. And so welcome, Gabrielle. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So um, obviously, I just said, you know, you've been in the practice about a year. I can't believe it's been that long. I know. I know. It's been a crazy year. Yeah, it's been a crazy year, obviously, for many reasons. Yeah. Um, but I can speak from my own personal experience and from the staff's experience. You guys, everyone has been loving Gabrielle. Um, rave reviews on her and even to the point where you know someone's good when they have a family member or a friend go see um, the same practitioner and that's already been happening plenty for Gabrielle. So welcome. Thank you. Thank awesome. You. Um, and for me, and as her supervising physician, um, I can say like her clinical experience and her, you know, her clinical abilities are really, really solid. Um, and Gabrielle and I talk about cases all the time. I mean, we see each other all the time and we'll message about things. And, um, you know, we always make sure we're, we're staying on the same page, but it's really cool because you and I, we listen to, we, uh, get our education from a lot of similar resources, but. We also listen to some slightly different things. So um, it's kind of been kind of cool to, you know, chat on a regular basis with you on, you know, certain subject areas. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's been probably the best part of being at Arizona Wellness Medicine is having like a really wonderful support system with you and the other docs in the office that like, just like bounce ideas, look at this patient, look at this case and kind of really work on it together. Collaborative, kind of collaborative care with everyone. Love it. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys, um, what I didn't mention is that Gabrielle has done the entire IFM Institute for Functional Medicine training program already. Um, so I want to, I would love you to tell the audience, how did you start in functional medicine? What's your pathway to functional medicine? Sure. Um, so when I was working in urogynecology in Houston, my doctor there recommended this book and it was called Clean by Alejandro Younger and it was just a kind of a cleanse, but based on food and using food as medicine. And I did it on myself, just like every good functional practitioner does. You try it out on yourself first. And I was like, wow, who knew I was so bloated all the time. And I was just really captivated. Like, wow, food is such a big part of us and it's, it's information for our body. So I really kind of just branched out from there. I was like, okay, how am I going to learn more? And I researched different certification programs. And I, I settled on IFM because I really think they are kind of the gold standard of functional medicine. And so I started my coursework in the fall of 2019, actually while I was in Germany, I was learning online functional medicine and just kind of progressed from there. My um, case report is going about to be submitted. And then I take my exam in the fall and I'll be a fingers crossed certified functional practitioner. Awesome. Love it. Love it. So um, yeah, all good. It's yeah, I have no doubt you're going to crush it. Um, absolutely. So, um, the audience hears from me on a regular basis about okay, so I was going to say the audience hears from me all the time on what I think functional medicine is, and I always am talking about those five foundations to health, nutrition, sleep, exercise, and movement, stress management, toxin reduction. Um, and I know you feel the same way, but I, you know, I would love for you to tell the audience a little bit more about, you know, your take on functional medicine and maybe even what you think the main differences and or advantages are between functional medicine and traditional medicine. Absolutely. Um, I, I really love IFM has a, and we, we, um, submit it to all our patients too, their, um, their tree, their functional tree, which basically looks at in the leaves of a tree are all the symptoms and all the kind of specialties you might see for, you know, if you cough, it's like, let's go to a pulmonologist. And then as we move down the tree, the root of the root cause of this cough could be related to 
diet or exercise or sleep could be related to anything. And I really think in functional medicine, that's what we're looking for. Really like the root, what is the actual problem here? And sometimes it's not a simple, oh, it's this for, it's a certain supplement for this. It's really kind of working with all the body systems together. Um, and I really think that's what sets functional medicine apart. And, and I, like Dr. Park said, I started in family medicine and after a while, I think you just, you get a little disenchanted because you're trying so hard. And I, I really wanted people to be well. Um, and it was just kind of like this pill and layering and this specialist and just trying, it's really challenging to just try to coordinate all of that. And so really, I think we take the whole patient into consideration. I also think the biggest difference functional and conventional is that we have time in functional medicine. Yes. Unfortunately, with insurance-based model, conventional just doesn't get that luxury, but I have an hour and a half with my first patient. Like, I really feel like I get to know them really well um, and really get to the, the root of what's going on with their, their conditions medically. So, Awesome. Awesome. And so, yeah, Gabrielle just brought up a great point. All of our new patient visits at Arizona Wellness Medicine are 90 minutes for a standard visit. If someone, you know, has a really complex or complicated case and a long history, we actually even have extended visits available um, for, for those specific cases so we can get through the entire history. Um, and then, you know, our first follow-up visit is still long. It's 60 minutes long. And, um, and at that visit, that's where we go over all the lab results in detail. And we talk about this concept of normal versus optimal where is the patient in that? How is it affecting their health? And what are we going to do about it moving forward? And so, the t as you mentioned, the, the importance of having enough time um, with the patient. And also, I like to call it a team sport too, right? It's like we are helping the patients through, uh, you know, their health challenges to optimize their health. It's, it's, it is not the old paradigm of like, where the practitioner do what I say, because I said, so it, it really, we want input um, you know, from all sides. Absolutely. And I, I think it's interesting because as the patients fill out their paperwork, it's very extensive, but it, for a reason, because we really do want to know, I think they put pieces together themselves too. And we'll talk about it. And they're like, light bulb. Wow. Like this was a big moment for me to realize this too. So it's fun to like work together and, and figure that stuff out too. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, filling out the patients, filling out, especially the timeline can be really therapeutic because a lot of people haven't really thought about their whole health history from birth until now um, and how it may be affecting what's going on with their current symptoms. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's another, you know, great example of what makes functional medicine a little bit different than traditional yeah. medicine. I think hon I love the question, like, when was the last time you felt well? Do yeah. You know, it really makes you think like, okay, when did I feel my best? And like, what happened? How did I get, how did it, things just kind of turn all of a sudden? So yep. I like that one too. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then you guys also know, you know, part of functional medicine is our ability to order and understand the results of all these advanced tests, not just traditional blood work, but stool studies, SIBO tests, organic acids tests, mold testing, environmental toxins testing, heavy metals testing, and so on and so forth. We include sensitivities. There's, you know, so many other tools we have in the toolbox in functional medicine too. And, um, you know, it, hormone testing that the, it, it, so much we can do and look at from a different perspective to really give the patient a 360 degree view of their health. Absolutely. And I think another really valuable resource for us specifically in our office is the availability of a health coach who is the behavior implementer. Like we all know what we should be doing, but she's the one that's like, this is how we're going to do it. And, and makes it personal for each person because everyone's so unique in that way and, and what their struggles are and what, what do we need to kind of hone in on? And, and behavior modification is huge in functional medicine because the roots are the, the diet, the sleep, the exercise, and we need to kind of implement those good behaviors. So she is just like the most amazing resource. Awesome. Love it. Love it. So you guys, everyone, if you're looking to get involved in functional medicine, you want to see a functional medicine practitioner, I would highly recommend you check out Gabrielle. Again, I am her, as you know, Dr. Park, I am her family or her uh, supervising physician. So I, we talk about all the cases. I have to sign all of her notes. And so we, we are in constant contact about cases. 
Um, and so if you want to see her, you would give us a call at 602-892-4727. That's the office line. And someone will get you set up and started with the process of filling out our forms and consents. And uh, as Gabrielle mentioned, they are quite extensive because we really want to get to know you super, super well. Um, and then um, if there's any, even after talking with our staff, if there are any questions you have, if you're like, I'm not sure if functional medicine is a good fit for me, um, we do offer free 15 minute phone consultation. So like you would actually be able to schedule a time where you could get on the phone with Gabrielle and talk about your specific case to make sure you're comfortable with her and she is comfortable taking your case, make, making sure it's a good fit because we always wanna make sure it's a good fit before we start the process. Awesome. Gabrielle, anything else you want to add or tell the audience? Yeah, I would say I really do love learning. I feel like functional medicine, I feel like you get into medicine and it's forever learning, no matter what conventional, functional, it doesn't matter. But I feel like functional, there's so much coming out about it all the time. And I just feel like the information is endless. And so I'm always constantly like learning and educating and challenging myself you know, some patients come and they're a little bit more complicated and we have to kind of work through layers. And we talk about functional medicine as an onion and kind of start from the outside and peel the layers back slowly. You can't, you know, sometimes can't start right in the center. We kind of have to work our way in. Um, and so I'm just always brainstorming. I have a patient I'm working with now who we're just working. We're constantly brainstorming ideas of like, you know, what is going on with her. So we're working really hard on that. And I love it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We're so fortunate and lucky to have you at Arizona Wellness Medicine. And again, if you want to book with Gabrielle, give our office a call, 602-892-4727. Take care. Bye. Bye.